welcome back to the final part of the show. Now, for anyone losing their hair, it can be a tough time to get through. But for Lauren Lovelace, she's trying to look on the positive side and explore her options. Hairspray.ie, the hair extensions company. It is October and that is the month of breast cancer awareness and today I'm bringing you a beacon of hope and optimism, Lauren. Lauren, you're very welcome and I would love to know your own personal journey. Well, thank you, Peter. It's glad to get to speak to you now in October. Thank you for wearing the pink tie. We appreciate it. Um, I am a, uh, a, a very happy um, survivor of breast cancer. I don't usually think of it in terms of uh, survival, but certainly that's what it is for a lot of, of people. I was uh, diagnosed earlier this year. I'm now on in my treatment phase, so I'm looking toward chemotherapy, and that's what eventually brought me here to the hair club, which when you look at it, uh, looks like a fabulous high-end uh, salon, and they do have you know wigs for people who have everything from alopecia to uh, hair loss from chemotherapy who just maybe want a style change and have a wig. I mean, this is, you know, this looks better than my you know, normal hair. I aspire to it. To the... You're wearing a wig right now? I am. No way. So, Dolores, you are the brain trust of, uh, of Hair Club. This is your baby. Yes. Um, what, what did you set out to achieve where, with, uh, with opening this place? As you can see, you know, 10 years ago, I actually started doing wigs and hair pieces when I realised there was a need in this country for it, but not to the limit that I've gone today. So what I've really tried to create for the woman today is to have a very comfortable, uppy place with a huge selection of wigs. I think we've the largest selection of wigs in Europe. Very comfortable sofas so that they can bring their family and friends in and have a very comfortable environment for the children when they arrive, yeah. the husband when he comes in. And it's all about the client feeling comfortable, feeling that she... She's not alone. And when they walk in here, believe it or not, I get a lot of people coming in, you know, and they're very sad and they're very upset. And the biggest achievement I have is when they walk out of here with a smile on their face, yeah. you know, and that is what we try to achieve. Hairspray.ie, the hair extensions company. And for more info on Hair Club, just log on to hairclub.ie. Now, losing your hair due to a condition or an illness can be devastating, even more so if you're a bright and bubbly 23-year-old woman. Recently, Laura went along to the Hair Club in Donnybrook to meet with Clodagh Musgrave, who was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier this year. After six months of chemotherapy, Clodagh has begun to lose her hair and has opted for a hairpiece while she undergoes the rest of her treatment. Laura caught up with her before she had the piece fitted and to hear more about the hair club. Let's take a look. Losing your hair through sickness or for any other reason can be an extremely emotional experience. But the hair club here in Donnybrook in Dublin have created an intimate and upbeat environment for those people looking for new wigs or hair pieces. Warren, can you tell us a little bit about the hair club? When and why did you decide to open this store? We opened up uh, the hair club in Donnybrook two years ago, and the, the aim of it really was, was to have a designated place where people can come in and just feel comfortable in a private setting, you know, and give a great selection of wigs. I'm here now with Hazel Kiley, the lady in charge of all of the wigs and hair pieces here at the hair club. Hazel, you have a very difficult job because not only are you uh, dyeing them, cutting them, um, you know, fitting them perfectly to your clients, but you also act as a bit of a counsellor, I'm sure. Well, this shop, the main thing is for it to be upbeat and for them to feel normal. You know, it's not a clinical situation. You know, it's the same as not to put them out as if they're different or anything. I mean, everybody has hair problems or any issues like that, and it's just to find a piece that suits them and everything. So it's an upbeat, happy, we get, make friendships and everything like that. So 
Can you tell us about open. the wigs that you have here? What mm -hmm. is the hair synthetic or would it be? We have a full range of synthetic wigs and a full range of human hair wigs. And then we have the hair pieces and we have the clip-ins, everything, you know, for everybody. Because everybody's hair is different. Mm -hmm. Nobody's the same and the colours are always different. So it's to cater for everybody's needs. Clodagh Musgrave was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier this year and decided to visit the hair club after chemotherapy caused her to lose her hair. Clodagh, it's lovely to meet you today. Can you tell us about the treatment you're currently undergoing for cancer? Um, well, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma over six months ago now because I'm just after finishing the chemo part of my treatment. So uh, I had six months of chemo and I finished two weeks ago and now I've all of December off and then I'm back into the hospital for January for radiotherapy. You're only 23. The yeah. diagnosis must have come as a massive shock for you. It was, yeah. It wa I wouldn't say shock kind of nearly as a relief because I was very sick. Um, beforehand. I think my family nearly took it worse than I took it because I was like, oh look, at least it's like six months. I'm looking at six months, I'm going to be better. As opposed to I was like, I've been sick for a year. Mm -hmm. So it was okay in that sense. I think, yeah, it was just like panic. As I said, I had a twin sister, so she was like, she was worse than me. Oh my God, I brought her in the first day um, to the hospital and she was like, ball. I was like, pull yourself together. I was like, I'm going to have no friends inside here. I think we're like loose cannons. Today, it's a big day for you because we're at the hair club and you are going to be fitted for a hair piece, not a wig. A hair piece. Hair piece. <laughs> Tell us how you first, uh, when did you first lose your hair and, and how did you hear about the hair club? It was, I think, yeah, I said, like, as I got through graduation, I said, if I still had my hair by graduation, I would be delighted. Of course, you were yeah. still going to college and finishing your finals while you were undergoing treatment. Yeah, yeah, looking back, it was probably not the best. A lot to take on. Yeah, but no, we got through the finish line. Mine is stumbled, kind of crawled, but we made it. Um, but graduation, I still had my hair. And even looking back now, I had a good hit, and that was halfway through. But then October, November, I suppose the last kind of two months of my treatment, I said I'd go to hairspray, because, like, you know, those people our age would be getting, like, clip-in extensions. So I was like, maybe I can disguise it a bit, you know? <laughs> so I um, went in to hairspray inside town and the lady I was kind of telling her how I was kind of thinning on top of it and that's what I was kind of a bit conscious about. you still have the length in the back. Yeah, yeah. still kept the length kind of and uh, she gave me a leaflet for the hair club. Now you didn't want a wig, you were sort of in denial about yes. the, the wig thing. So what did you go for in the end? It's like a hair piece so it's fantastic like because everyone always says like it looks so natural but I'm like maybe that's because it's an actual kind of clip on piece so it just clips on the front and like onto your own head and then it's just like your own hair you'll have underneath it and it looks it looks so good and like you know the fact that it's not an actual wig wig kind of makes you feel better when you take it off you still have hair underneath yeah. which is nice so will we go and uh, get your beautiful hair piece yes 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 have a bit bald <laughs> Clodagh's twin Aoife has been her rock and support during her illness and I wanted to hear more about their close relationship and how they both coped with Clodagh's illness. I know that you're not identical but to me you look identical <laughs> but you're mirrored twins. So how was that for her do you think and for you when she was losing her hair to see you know her real life image in front of her with yeah. cascading hair that, that mustn't have been that easy for Probably her. Probably a bit different yeah because we've grown up our whole life being exactly the same no one could tell us apart and then obviously as Clodagh started to get sicker people would a lot easier be like be able to tell us apart more easily but um i can remember she's been talking on my hair being like oh like we used to put her hair in ponytails because that was the easiest way to see how much i'd left and how much clothes i'd left and then literally it happened so quickly when she did start losing her hair that we just kind of went with it and we were like right we need to take the next steps now Cloda, what a difference this makes. I know it's fab, isn't it? Are you thrilled? Yeah, I was like, it just feels like, you know, I, you, you kind of go into denial about the whole thing. You're like, oh, my hair's okay, it's okay. And then you put on the hair piece and you're like, big difference, big difference. Yeah, so it is lovely. It just gives you the confidence, you know? I'm not insecure, really, when I'm wearing it. Like, the girls just can't get over it. They're like, oh, my God. People have hair envy now. Yeah, yeah, I was saying my friend, she's really fine hair, and she's like, uh, when you're done with it, can I dye blonde and take it? Like, she's under she's like, can I have it, please? That's so funny. Let's bring in your twin. Come over here, Eva. what do you think? Fabulous. Gorgeous. It's literally the exact same as her hair six really? months ago. Six yeah. months ago, probably even better. Yeah, better condition, Lola. Yeah. Well, look, you look absolutely beautiful. But can I just say you look beautiful before? And we wish you every success over the next few months finishing your treatment. And lovely to meet you girls you. today. It's been such a pleasure.